Hi, I am Erica Demon. I am a visual artist, primarily working in the medium of photography, um, constructing portraits of members of my community and of the African diaspora. I currently live and work in San Francisco. And I'm Kim Beale. We're going to be talking about Jennifer Bartlett's painting, At the Lake, Morning, from 1979. It's in the Anderson Collection at Stanford University. So tell me, Erica, what inspired you to choose this painting? I think the the construction of the painting was was interesting to me that there were these abstracted pieces that formed this greater image. And in many ways, I, I think it kind of reminds me somewhat of my own work, kind of taking these individual views and kind of constructing a wider narrative and wider thinking. Do you it, think it, she worked from one panel to the next, or I guess as she calls them plates, does she work from one plate to the next as they're butted up against each other? Yes, I think so. When I look in detail at the work, it does appear that the strokes follow through the plates that she's created, which is also very interesting to kind of think about even just the smallest of breaks in the stroke and in the pressure also as well kind of thinking about the consistency of color that kind of flows throughout the work and how precise it feels. What do you make of the perspective on that lake? It is very, very interesting. I struggle to actually even see it as a lake. It almost feels like some sort of constellation. Yeah, that looks to me like the moon, like there are clouds passing over the moon Exactly. And it kind of really contrasts with this large space of blue, which kind of places it in the daytime that that this landscape is a daytime landscape. However, the reflection on the lake appears to come from a different time. And that makes me think about her later works where she was really um, interested in the same place but over a period of time. I think the title of it is kind of adds to that intrigue when you really think about what she is actually asking us to to really look at and to focus on. That we're looking at both a place and a time. Yeah and I think she's kind of very difficult to define when I think about her work. It's quite hard to to really pinpoint her and kind of place her in one particular space or box. Yeah, I think that feels deliberate to me. Certainly each one of these pieces would be an abstraction on its own, but when they come together, we start to see it as what the title tells us to look for. I think as well, it is interesting to see this mirroring as you go through the grid. Um, The mirroring of the lake is much more abstracted in the brushwork. I think the reason I'm drawn to more abstracted pieces is probably the sense and feeling of freedom that I find exploring the works. And I think that it is a, it's like a pleasant difference to my own practice. I think that these types of works kind of make me reflect on maybe more on my own figurative pieces. Definitely. You can almost feel this kind of sense of satisfaction and completeness within each panel that, that she, you know, really kind of dedicated herself to the completion of each abstracted piece that then goes on to form this completed, you know, larger painting, which is also kind of just thinking about process kind of very deep and demanding, I think, to kind of have that, you know, attention to detail that that you feel that is in every single square and mm-hmm. panel. I have to say, you know, it seems to me a little bit like this is a perfect picture for shelter in place because we're encountering so many things through little screens mm. or the images that are either posted on Instagram or seeing someone on Zoom or on FaceTime. And we kind of have to imagine what's outside their borders um, and then put it all together. Yeah, I agree. I thank you for looking up close at this painting at the lake morning by Jennifer Bartlett with me. So thank you very much, Erica. Yeah, thanks, Kim. Have a good one.